What's up guys? Up here in DC, headed to the Washington Monument. Alright guys, made it. Washington Monument. Headed up in about five minutes and it is the tallest obelisk in the world. Also the tallest stone structure in the world. And here on the National Mall, you've got the U.S. Capitol back there. Um, probably can't see it, but the White House is just ahead. And down there, Lincoln Memorial. Right. Alright, the South View and Jefferson Memorial down there. Pentagon, Reagan Airport, and down there the Tidal Basin where the uh, cherry blossoms bloom each year. Jefferson Memorial opened 1943. West View, I'll come back to that. All right, so you're gonna have the Lincoln Memorial back here. I'll come over to the North View. So you're gonna have Maryland back here, White House. There used to be baseball diamonds uh, down on the ellipse. Okay, so the West View and the Oval down here, World War II Memorial. You got the reflecting pool and then the Lincoln Memorial ahead. And yeah, this area is a hotbed for history. Um, see those stones right there? That's uh, Martin Luther King Memorial. There's a Roosevelt Memorial right in the area. Um, there's going to be a Korean War Memorial over there. I know there's also an Eisenhower Memorial somewhere around here. So, yeah. All right, so you've got the money shot over here, the east view. Is there a bird right there? Huh. It says this view has pretty much been the same for over 100 years. Although the National Mall used to have gardens and there were uh, horse trails down there. Of course, U.S. Capitol, behind it, the Library of Congress, the Supreme Court building. Uh, along the mall, you've got all the Smithsonian museums, American History Museum. Natural history. We're gonna 
have it here in Space Museum. See a little bit of the uh, Potomac over there. Oh, and you can see the, uh, well, I guess not the Redskins, the Commanders, the stadium way back there. Pretty good shot. All right, so this is the view in the 1910s. Oh, actually, it was a little bit different. I'm not even seeing them all. Hmm. All right, I think I've knocked it all out. So, and uh, this is the exit. Okay, there's a little museum down here. This is pretty cool. And of course, dedicated to George Washington. And yeah, work began 1848. By 1854, they had to halt construction. Uh, they reached 152 feet. And then they picked up about 20 years later. It was completed in the 1880s. I want to say 1888. It's not saying over here. Quote by Mark Twain. It has... It has the aspects of a factory chimney with the top broken off. Yeah, so like I say, right now it's the world's tallest obelisk, tallest stone building. Built taller than the pyramids, and uh, so it held the crown for about five years until the uh, Eiffel Tower was built. Yeah, 555 feet. Oh, so it completed 1884. <laughs> and an engineering marvel. And it's got a uh, steel frame here. And it originally had a steam-powered elevator. It took 12 minutes to get to the top. Hmm. And yeah, that's where they had to uh, stop work and the uh, color changes. You'll, you'll notice because they source the marble from a different location. <laughs> and they've got lightning rods at the top. It says it was first struck 1885 and a piece of stone was cracked. <laughs> My first wish is to see the world in peace. George Washington's letter to Marquise de la Rory. <laughs> and over here, these stones used to line the stairwell. In DC, Force donated a stone that merely said his name, Peter Force. The passage of time as we travel back through history to the first phase of construction. Stones were required to be made from native materials. You'll see a lot of marble, limestone, and granite. the Washington Monument and cool trip it was worth it to let you know the tickets are free you do have to order online the day before you can't purchase tickets the day of and uh, order online they charge you a dollar processing fee so I paid a dollar 
and yeah, to let, you know, when you're walking, you've got to go through airport style security. I had to take my belt off the whole nine yards and they do kind of rush you to the elevator. Um, but once you get to the top, uh, you've got all the time you want. And there's a pretty cool little museum type area up there. So yeah, it's going to wrap it up for this one. And I'm going to take a walk through the American History Museum. I don't think I'm going to do it, make a video of it. And there's a World War I memorial right to the right of the uh, White House is right up there. Yeah, and I'll just show you the Lincoln Memorial reflecting pool. And that's a World War II memorial in front of it. Yeah, so that's it. Washington Monument. See ya.